phase two. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Well, today we are going to um, practice a little bit more with the topic we had yesterday. And we are going to expand our vocabulary, okay? So let me start sharing my screen, okay? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Perfect. Yes, okay. I can. So do you remember under what situations do we use the what clauses and long noun phrases? Do you remember the situations? Well, the situation. For giving advice. Very good. For giving or we, advice. Or when, or when we want to, or add important information. Yeah, exactly. We add important information, but mostly the context is to give advice. Okay? All right. Okay. Now, when we are in a conversation, okay, remember, when we give advice, usually we talk about other people, right? We talk about the person we are talking to, or mm -hmm. we talk about ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So today we're going to start with this section of speaking naturally, okay? Speaking naturally, stressing I and you. Okay, the subjects, or in this case, the subject pronouns, I and you, okay? Okay. I want to make an exercise. Right now, I want you guys to read this short conversation that we have over here. Let me um, put it in a square. I want you to read this short conversation. Rodolfo, you are going to be Matt. And Enzo and Thelma, you are going to be Anne and Kate, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. As you see, you have over here some words in red. So right now, I want you to imagine how, how would you stress these words, okay? How would you say them? So in the conversation... In the conversation, as you are reading, I want you to stress these words that we have in red, okay? Let's see if we do the correct stress. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's start. Thelma, please, you may start. What would you do if you found your dream job and they hate it? I don't know. What would you do if you hate your dream job, Kate. Hate it. Hate it. Sorry. Hate it. <laughs> Your dream job, Kate. I have no idea what I do. I know what I would do. I'll quit immediately. Quit. Quit. I quit. I'll quit immediately. Mm -hmm. Life's too short. How about you? Okay. Very good. Good pronunciation. Good pronunciation. So, yes. That is the correct stress. Now, one big question. Do you know why we stress words when we speak? This is the question. Do you know why we stress words when we speak? I think it's the same as Spanish. Mm -hmm. And when you want to give uh, an extra idea, what you really want to say. Very good. Excellent. We stress words to make emphasis. Right? So that this person can have clear, in this case, that I am talking about you or I am talking about me, right? Mm -hmm. Understood? Okay. Yeah? Mm, yes. Okay. So now, let's listen to the conversation that we have over Page here. Page 109. Give me one second. I just want to share my sound. And I will put my microphone on mute. 
routine. 3. Speaking naturally. Stressing I and you. A. Listen and repeat the conversation. Notice how I and you are sometimes stressed to make clear who you are talking about. Then practice and continue the conversation with a partner. What would you do if you found your dream job and then hated it? I don't know. What would you do if you hated your dream job, Kate? I have no idea what I'd do. I know what I would do. I'd quit immediately. Life's too short. How about you? Okay. So, the pronunciation was basically the same as Rodolfo was doing. Okay? Any question about stressing the words I and you? Mm, just a comment. Sure. Stressing in this, in this case is just uh, um, not exactly to use a loud voice. It's, just, it's, good, it's possible to simply enlarge a little bit the pronunciation, right? Yes, but I mean, that can happen with other type of words. Because mm. with the word you and I, there is not much uh, enlargement of the word that you can do. Mm -hmm. right? Unless you make the, the, this sound, you. Uh -huh, exactly. That would or, be a little bit weird. I know what I will do. But in that case, it's more the change in your tone of voice. I would do. Mm. Okay, I agree. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other comment? Not for me. No? Okay. So let's do this activity. Okay? Group work. Discuss the questions. Stress I and you if you need to. We are only going to discuss these two questions, okay? Only these two. Thelma, can you please read the first question so that we can start the discussion? What's the best way to choose a career? <clears throat> okay, what do you think? What's the best way to choose a career? Remember to use what expressions and a long noun expressions. Um, um, uh, the best thing to do to to choose a career is um, uh, first of all, now what uh, are your skills? Uh, your own skills. <coughs> Um, your preference, preferences, preferences. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's a bit. Uh, it will be a better idea. Uh, base your choice on your skills. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I. What I will do is uh, look, uh, investigate. Um, well, here, uh, uh, here, kids made a, a project very interesting over that because uh, they asked to fathers, uh, parents, uh, have father, parents. To their parents? Uh, to parents uh, ask to the company if kids will go a week to work at companies. Mm. And kids have the opportunity to go a real company and be in a week uh, making, you know, any kind of choice. And they have to thought, they have to choose the company. Um, mm, interesting. And uh, kids around what age? What? Kids around what age? Ah, uh, uh, primero de bachillerato. 
So sixteen, seventeen. Seven sixteen. Sixteen years old. Sixteen uh -huh. years old. Uh, for example, uh my my son mm -hmm. goes to my husband's companies mm -hmm. and he was on IT area. Oh, he goes or he went? He went. He went for a week. One day, well, uh, he was on IT area. Mm -hmm. and they explained everything about IT. Wow. Uh, then he went to fin fin finance, finance. Yes. Finances, finances area. Mm -hmm. And they explain the ex the Excel spread. Wow! They made the the how they calculate. Uh, no. and they explain everything, every mm -hmm. every step, step by step. Mm -hmm. What I do, and then uh, the uh, another day he was on uh, selling, you know. It purchases the commercial area. Wow. Uh, purchases and you know all these kind of things and and he bought something so he has to ask for companies and ask for price and all this kind and he had to decide for the best price to purchase. And he, this I think this kind of activities for kids are really good. Definitely. I, I never had an activity an activity singular like mm -hmm. in my whole life. <laughs> well. But for for I think for my son was mm -hmm. an, an excellent activity because definitely they, they try what they would like to do in this day before they took the decision yeah that would be and, great to be done here in el salvador because here i don't think that they do that either no right? no and here it's not common it's the, mm. the school my kid my kids school but i think it's a necessary activity for a yeah. kid yeah yeah. Now, what, what do you think, Rodolfo, about what Thelma said and also the best way to choose a career? Well, uh, I agree with her ideas mm -hmm. about uh, how to, to choose a career, mm -hmm. but uh, I can think um, after my experience, Mm -hmm. It's very common that the, uh, so many persons uh, look a figure that looks uh, or I imagine that looks so attractive, but it's very common that anybody knows uh, the level of effort that you have to perform to, to get that kind of success. Mm -hmm. uh, in that order ideas, I think the best way to choose a career is to be very honest with yourself. Okay. Because everybody can think in a, in an imagine of success, mm -hmm. but is a few person who uh, tries to figure out if they really going to be happy doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Or or how many effort that you have to perform in order to get it. Mm -hmm. Especially if we think in our skills and capabilities. Um, because, for example, uh, so many persons think in money or, yeah. or a big house, a big car. Mm-hmm. Um, much of that kind of things are getting a, get, a, get into debt, which is very easy, but mm -hmm. it's so expensive to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And that's why when I think in the best way to choose a career, you need to fall in love with what you really want to do. Mm -hmm. And think if you really look yourself doing, doing that, that thing mm -hmm. exactly for so for the rest of your life. True. Especially in the in the case of the men, curiously. Because the the men's the men, men. men. Mm -hmm. the men is very common that confuse their career or their job with their own value. Yes, I um, I heard something uh, that like that today, and the person gave an example that when men lose their job, uh, they feel that they they f lose their identity. Like if their job is the one that gives them their, their identity of being a man, being the one who uh, brings money, uh -huh, the provider, or the one who protects the house, right? That protects the family. So it's something very curious that you, you're saying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, it's very common that, that that kind of confused because our culture um, talks that kind of uh, path, 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 pattern, pattern of uh, yeah. of conduct. Mm -hmm. which, it's true. In what in real, uh, the real thing is that everybody have a uh, own value, uh, which is uh, separated about uh, the career or the job or, or the position. Mm -hmm. That way it's very important to uh, choose a career that really make you feel happy with your activity, which is uh, not necessary, necessarily create so many money. So much or too much or, money. Or too much money, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or a position because uh, you need you, the real uh, desire of the men, of the persons, of the human kindness to be happy. Yeah. And the, and the idea of happiness is uh, the concept that is, is um, absolutely determinant in the moment that you have to choose a career. Mm -hmm. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Thank you, Rodolfo, for your input. I do agree with the comments you did. Also, Telma, uh, the two uh, perspectives are very... Um, very real right and they are very related to reality excellent very good okay this uh, discussion of the first question was a little bit longer we are not going to discuss number two okay but right now to continue practicing the stressing of i and you i want you to do one exercise that we have as an extra exercise over here. What clauses and long noun clauses? So in this section, we have a couple of sentences. Okay. We have a couple of sentences that the instruction says. Rodolfo, can you please read the instruction? Yes, letter A. Rewrite these sentences to give someone advice about starting a new job. Start with the words given. Okay, very good. So you have uh, either the word what or um, a different type of word for you to start a long noun phrase. But remember, you have to use this same information because it says rewrite. Okay, so... This is not the topic. Making a good impression is really important. It's not the topic, okay? You have to use the same sentence, but at the beginning put a what clause or a long noun phrase. Understood? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah? Remember, this is an exercise to rewrite. So use this same information. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it, Thelma? Okay. Okay. 
let's start this one is going to be individual work and then we are going to discuss the uh, sentences you rewrote How are you doing? Until now, well, but we need a little bit more, a little bit more time. Okay, no problem, no problem. You tell me. On letter four, no, three. <laughs> Number, number three. Number. Okay, yeah. perfect. No problem, continue.
depende. Perfect. Very good. Thank you, Thelma. Rodolfo, what about you? I'm ready to. Ready to? Perfect. Yep. Okay. Let's see then, or let's hear, actually, because I won't be able to see right now. Let's hear your sentences. Number one, we have the sentence, making a good impression is really important with the starting word, what? Thelma, what's your sentence? Uh, what I will do is give a good impression. It's really important. Okay. In that case, um, probably I would add one word because of the phrase that you chose. What I would do is... It's to give a good impression. Mm -hmm. Giving a good impression because it is really important. Okay. Okay. Because of the expression that you, you did. Okay. Why? Why? Because this one that you have over here is a big statement by itself. Yeah. I mean, this is an idea. Making a good impression is really important. But this is just like the idea. Now, when you say what I would do, you are not just saying an idea. You are saying like an action. You are yeah. saying... <laughs> Mm, your your what would be this mm -hmm. yeah what you would do mm -hmm. right so this part over here let me put it in a square is extra so it's better if you say over here because wait Okay, because it uh, because is really, really important. Yeah. Okay. All right, but good. Uh, Rodolfo? Okay, I wrote the next sentence. Mm -hmm. What I try to say is making a good impression is really important. Ah, okay. Yeah, very good, because you are clarifying the idea. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say. Very good. Number two, a friend of mine offered to help the manager. Something. Okay, I wrote. Mm -hmm. Something you can do is what I saw to do a friend of mine who always offered to help the manager. Okay. Yeah, that rewrite is good. Thelma? Something my friend did is to help the manager. Oh, very good. Yes. But, but, did and is. Do you remember something we said yesterday about these two words together? Did, is. Did, um, no, I don't remember. <laughs> no? What verb tense is did? Present or past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yes. You said that it has this. It, it has to be the same tense. Exactly. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, number three. My sister introduced herself to everyone. Thelma, what? Uh, what my is it the same? What my sister did was introduce herself to everyone okay good Rodolfo a little bit similar uh, what you have to do is imitate my sister who introduced herself to anyone okay every 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 yeah I don't know if I just heard that you said anyone actually yes <laughs> because uh, uh -huh. Okay, because um, I repeat the expression, the manager, copying the, the, the previous sentence, which the real one is everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember that everyone, we are talking about all the people in a place. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone, anyone uh, is basically only one person, but randomly from a group of people. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Anyone is cualquiera. Only one, one people. Undetermined. Uh, sorry, repeat. Is uh, is the opposite to determine de determined? Um, no, because the opposite determiner would be no one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Every what you would say is everyone is plural, anyone is singular. Okay, but a little bit more is more more random. Mm -hmm. Okay. Random. Do we know the meaning of random? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Number four. Smile. That's the best thing you can do. The Rodolfo. Okay. The trick what I have is a smile. That's the best thing you, you can do. Okay. The trick that I have, not what I have. Okay. That. Yes. Thank you. The trick uh, that they have. Yes. Thelma, four? The main, the main thing you need is a smile. That's the best thing you can do. Okay. Just repeat one more time, please. The main thing you need is a smile. It's a, it's a smile. It's a smile. Okay. If you want to say smile or if you are using in the sentence, the word smile, as a verb, you have to say is to smile. Okay. If you are using the word smile as a noun, like sonrisa en vez de sonreír, you have to say is a smile. Okay. So how are you using this word in your sentence, like a verb or a, a noun? Like a bird is to okay. smile. To smile, right? It's to smile. That's the Perfect. best thing you can do. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Thelma. Very good. Very good. We're just uh, completing these ideas, right? Because remember, you cannot put two verbs together just like mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. right? Okay, five. I would try to listen and learn from your co-workers. Thelma? Uh, what, I, what I would try is to listen and learn from my co-workers. From my, okay, yeah, very good. Rodolfo? Okay, what always worked for me is try to listen and learn from all my co-workers. Very good, very good. That's another type of what clause. Good example. Okay, and the last one. I like to find out as much about the job as possible before starting. Then you feel prepared. Rodolfo? Okay. What can be you so what can be so useful for you is find out as much about the job as possible before starting. Then you'll be prepared. Okay. Very good. And Telma? What I will do first is to find out as much as, as much about the job as possible. The advantage of that is you feel prepared. Okay, yes. But in this case, uh, because we have this word, let me underline it. Then, the word then, let us understand that we are talking about the future. So instead of saying the advantage of that is you feel prepared, you have to write this sentence in the future. And eventually you feel prepared. Exactly. You will feel prepared. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good example. Okay, excellent. Now, do we have a, a clearer idea of how to use what clauses and long noun phrases as subjects? 
Yeah, a little bit. Think, yes. Okay, very good. And remember, right? If you want to add more emphasis to the person who is doing the action or to the person who did the action or to say that it's your idea, right? It's I would do. You stress the words I or you, or you can even say what my sister, right? You can, you can stress the subject, okay? Okay. Perfect. All right, so now let's continue. We're going to start with a lesson B, okay? And in this section of unit 12, we're going to expand our vocabulary, okay? So, number one, building vocabulary and grammar. A, listen and read the interviews. What career plans do these students have? So, I'm going to play the audio. Uh, I just want to know, can you see the, the script very well? Yes, I can see. Yeah. Page 100. In your case, Thelma, can you see the script without problems? Yes. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to play the audio then. Please identify new words, okay, that probably you have in the reading so that later we can discuss them, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 120. Lesson B. The World of Work. 1. Building Vocabulary and Grammar. A. Listen and read the interviews. What career plans do these students have? Where do you think you'll be working five years from now? Ashley. Well, I'll have finished my degree in media studies by then, and what I really want to do is get a job in communications. You won't be seeing me on TV or anything. I'm not cut out for that. But I may be working in, like, publishing or journalism as an editor or writer or something. Or maybe I'll have gotten a job in advertising or public relations. That would be fun. Albert. Well, in two years, I'll be graduating with a degree in nursing, so I'll be working in the field of healthcare. One thing I think I'd like to do is be a psychiatric nurse, but I'm not sure. Hopefully, my wife will have graduated from medical school by then, too. She'd like to be a pediatrician or else a surgeon. Jesse. I won't be doing what I'm doing now, telemarketing. That's for sure. This fall, I'll be starting a degree in business management. So in five years, I'll have graduated and gotten a job in the construction industry. I probably won't have had much experience, but I'll be working with civil engineers, contractors, construction workers, and so on. Simone. Hopefully, I'll be working as a financial analyst in an investment bank. My dad's a stockbroker, and my mom's a tax advisor, so I guess I'm following them into the financial sector. Cheryl. I don't really know. I just hope I'll be using my languages. I might be working as an interpreter or a translator, or maybe I'll be working in the travel industry. Okay, perfect. So what are we talking about? What are we talking about over here? Uh, uh, each of these uh, guys are trying to figure out mm -hmm. how it's going to be the, their future, their professional future, mm -hmm. uh, about um, no, starting for the final, final, uh, the final of these studies. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. For the end, actually, for the end. For the end of the study. Of the yes, study, yes. Very good. Thank you, Rodolfo. Tell me, what do you think? What are they talking about? If you want to make a summary, right? 
uh, how they see each other in five years. Very good. Five years from now, right? Okay, very good. Now, do you have any new words? At least in these three first paragraphs, do you yeah. see a new word? Yes, Thelma, tell me. Uh, crowd. Let's I'm see. Not crowd for that. This one. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Let's see the context. Okay, let's see the context. It says, uh, you won't be seeing me on TV or anything. This person uh, wants to have a job in communications, right? Mm -hmm. But she says that she will not be on TV. Okay. Uh, what do you is. think that is? I'm not cut out for that. She's not suitable. She's, she's not for that. She's that. That's not what she likes. Mm -hmm. Right. Very good. Exactly. That is the meaning of I'm not cut out for. Okay, this is a phrasal verb, cut out for. Okay? Very good. Any other new word? For me, just cut off, which you are already explained. Okay, cut out for. I don't remember another word, but I can see the last one. Oh, uh, but in these three paragraphs, no, right? Uh, no. Okay, let's see the other two. Uh, no. No? no. Belolfo? Not really. No? Okay. No. Very no. good. Clear. So over here, as you see, we are talking about careers and we are talking about the future. Now, each student mentioned a different job, a different career, um, and they are basically, some of them, they are not related, right? Mm -hmm. These jobs are in different areas. They are um, super different. So we're going to make an exercise, and this is going to be the last exercise of the night. Let me zoom in. We are going to do exercise B. Here is where the vocabulary of us is going to get expanded tonight. It says, make a word web for each area of work and, sorry, add more jobs. Then compare with a partner. Which jobs do you think would be interesting, fun, well-paid or rewarding? Now, as you see, we have over here a list of uh, jobs or careers. Can you please read this uh, list, Thelma? Construction, industry, financial service, media, services, media, services, media, mm -hmm. media and communication, medicine and healthcare, travel industry, sales and marketing. Okay. Very good. So these are the main jobs. Let's call them main. Okay. Now, do you know what is a word web? Web is a, oh, is the, <laughs> I try to explain that way. A web is the house of the spiders. Yeah, very good. Very good, exactly. Excellent. So basically a web is a, the house of a spider, right? So this is what you are going to do. As you see, this is a word web, but the main topic is Halloween. So the idea is, what other words do you associate with this topic? Well, in this word web, we have things we do, scare people, dress up, trick or treat. Decorations, skeleton, spider webs, bats. Costumes, witch, fairy, a cat. And things we eat, cupcakes, chocolate, candy apple. 
-hmm. This is a web word about Halloween. But in our case, with the book, let me go back to the book. And I apologize again for my camera. <laughs> you are going to do this type of word web. You have construction industry. This is the main, the main um, topic, right? What type of careers, what type of jobs, what kind of people work in the construction industry? Civil engineer, architect. Can you think of any other job? Mm -hmm. Mason, for example. Very good. A Mason. Excellent. So, together, Rodolfo and Thelma, I want you to choose, um, probably because of the time, I want you to choose only three of these jobs, okay, or three of these main uh, areas, and make a spider web for each, together, okay? okay. This is a okay. pair work. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put my microphone on mute. You can talk, right? I don't know if you want to share your screen. You can, no problem. Um, I will, I think that you will do it in your notebook, right? Because it's easier. Uh, but yeah, do it together, okay? Okay. You have okay, 10 minutes, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Which one? Uh, what do you think if we use, for example, travel industry? Travel industry. Industry. Yeah. Maybe the, maybe maybe the three topics of the of the right side. Travel industry. Are you agree? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm going to share my. Oh no, it's the, uh, okay. For example, if travel industry, well, the three of them, medicine and healthcare. Ah, you, you couldn't share. Travel, no, because uh, because he is. Yeah. Because travel. teacher Eunice is, is, is sharing. Oh. Oh, but if you want me to stop sharing, I can. No problem. Please, uh, you can do it. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Miles. You're welcome. Mm. Yeah. Uh, can you share your screen? From agents. Okay. Very good. Excellent. For example, for medicine. Medicine. Doctor. Doctor. Nurse. Nurse. What are the, what 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 is the word medicine? Medicine is for let me show you. The main word is medicine and healthcare. Mm. Medicine and healthcare, uh -huh. exactly. Hospital. Ah, excellent. And hospital. inside inside hospital, you can find doctors. Hospital. Um, ambulance. Inside How do you say cirujano? Surgeon. 
surgeon and ambulance. I think it's surgeon. Very good. That's right. Paramedic. Paramedic inside of ambulance and hospital. Nurse. Nurse. It could be a. You said ambulance, ambulance, right? Yeah, but inside a hospital because it's for. Um, guys, just remember that we are talking about careers and jobs. Hospital and ambulance, it's not a career or. A okay. Job. And just nurse, paramedic. Yes. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, hospital doesn't work and ambulance doesn't what work. What about ambulance driver? I or hobbit hospital administrator? Hospital, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doctor. Doctor. Okay, are you with the next topic, travel industry? What about tourist guide? Surgeon. <laughs> Trip advisor. <laughs> Sounds like a website. Which one did you, did you say construction industry? Construction? No, <laughs> not the teacher. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, no, look at look at Rodolfo's screen. He is right now working on the next uh, main topic. Ah, travel industry, tourist guide, trip advisor. Okay. Um. Uh, what about plane pilot? Pilot, yeah. Uh, Flight attendant. Nice. And a pilot. And of course, a bus driver. Uh, the person who translate translator. Oh yes. Um, uh, exactly a translator. Um. Uh, travel agent, no. agent, tourist guide. Exactly. Right. Um, or even an insurance agent. Agent. Okay, uh, what else? What else? Four minutes left. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next one. Sales. Sales. For example, sales trainer. Sales. Um, Sales manager, sales mm. manager. The idea was, let me see the main topic. Uh, it's a sales and marketing. Ah, marketing. Yeah, marketing. Mark. For example, um, marketing designer. Uh, 
essence marketing specialist entrepreneur ah i like that mm -hmm. sales and entrepreneur entrepreneur mm -hmm. i like that Mm. What about with mark, uh, marketing? Maybe the, the, the bank, uh, some related to banks, because they participate on, on sales. <laughs> it is possible, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what, how do you call it? Uh, it could be, you have, uh, it, we, it could be, we can, we can find the a specialist in marketing by area. It, it could be that the one who is related with sales and the person who manage uh, accounts from Community manager? Maybe some. Maybe we can know somebody who works in that activity. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's possible? Sure. <laughs> the person who manage the, the savings for enterprise and the accounts for enterprise. Travel age? No, I don't know. Right, right now, right now are uh, different uh, specialization in product development for sales and marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, which is the name of this uh, discipline? Um, oh, when you're trying to develop a product, you hire a group. Who who works in a prototype? Think designer. Think design and think. I think designer. Product designer. No, it's, for example, it's a new word for when you try to sweet uh, the product to the. What the client uh, wants of this, you call it thinking designer or something like that. <laughs> but... It's a new word for that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> design thinking. <laughs> you know, have you heard about design thinking? But that would be more like a that would be more like a practice, like a technique, but not a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the name is for another thing, but what they do is that. Because I've also heard of creative thinking. Uh, I could be, but they use the th design thinking is uh is how they call it. Is what? Is is how is the technique? Yeah, it's and like the, a tool. The design thinking is the technique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I agree oh. with that. In my in okay. in my workplace, there's an area called Fabrica Digital. In the Fabrica Digital, uh, are several guys who are experts in design thinking. Yeah, uh, and uh, there are spread in different positions. Mm -hmm. Three of them are a Scrum Master, Product Designer, and Product Owner. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Each of, of them are um, in charge of, dif of different parts of the process to create new financial products. Yeah. Good. In, in, in any kind of companies, you can, uh, they work like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And especially for uh, technology companies, is is the main is the 
is the way that they work. Okay. Right, right now, the fashion. Yeah. All right. So, 758. Let's just check this list. Doctor, nurse, hospital administrator, surgeon, ambulance driver, tourist guide, trip advisor, plane pilot. Yep, flight attendant, bus driver, travel agent, insurance agent, sales trainer. Mm. I don't know if it's sales coach, the correct phrase. Um, Instead of trainer. Uh huh, uh huh. I think. Uh, it could be, could be. Yeah. It's, well, it's very common to find a guy who say, what are you going to sell? Everything. When we got the goals, yeah. It's like a <laughs> cheerleader. <laughs> uh -huh. but yeah. It could be a coach, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then self manager, this marketing designer, marketing specialist, sales entrepreneur, yeah, e, e, community manager, a scrum master, or a product designer, or a product owner. But product owner, I think it's different because depending on the enterprise, you can have the idea, but at the end, the owner is the company, right? It's not yours. So, but yeah, it's it's true. Okay. Uh, do you have the same list, Elma? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very we good. work together. A couple Very of good. Uh, almost the same. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. No problem. Very good. Okay. Good. Excellent. So with this, with this, we have a little bit more of vocabulary in mind, right? To talk about careers. As you see in this last exercise, we started to see a glimpse of the future. Tomorrow, that is going to be our topic, the future, but we are going to see two new verb tenses about the future, okay? So um, you are not gonna have homework tonight. My only recommendation is if you need to do extra job to practice any other topic, do it. For example, the passive voice, right, that we saw in the last activity. Um, in if you need me to check something for you, please let me know through a uh, text okay okay perfect can i get you something yes rodolfo please today i uh, changed my hardware for cell phone ah, okay got do it you, do you think it's possible to send me two uh, messages by whatsapp one of your phone and another in the group sure. because i lost that uh, connections okay perfect i will do so you say hi <laughs> sorry sorry so, oh, oh you say hi. Or okay, like that. got it. Sure, no problem. Perfect. Thank you. Any other thing, guys? No, no. No? Not, not at all. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope that you have a great evening. Rest well. Have a good day tomorrow. And see you tomorrow at night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.